Okay, so I've been testing some 775 and 1366 CPUs once again. So huge thanks to Tontu2 from uh, our Finnish tech media side forums called IO Tech for selling me this pack of CPUs for a very low price. So this is actually the last CPU that I'm testing, yet another Wolftail E8500. So running on my backup, Rampage Extreme, and with only one stick of DDR3 memory over there. So normal water cooling on the CPU and air cooling on the board and memory. But look at this result over here. So the past <coughs> Super Pi 32 amp run, although the performance is very bad as I'm uh, only running single stick of memory, but uh, at 5.1 gigahertz with uh, 1.48 volts, pretty much. So uh, that's actually a very nice run. So 5.1 on water is actually quite hard to achieve on the E8500. So uh, this is much better than my previous E8500 I used for the top scores like SuperPi 1M, W'32, W'1024M, Prime SuperPi 32M. Although now I have lost the top score in PiFast and 32M to SAM OCX, although the uh, results are very on par with each other. So they are nearly the same, so my result and Sam's. For some reason I lost the W1024M to, uh, to some French guy, but for some reason my efficiency was very bad in the beginning already, so I can easily retake the 1024M, of course, but 5.1 is very nice on water, the, uh, but only running single core. The 5 GHz barrier for uh, the second core is uh, like 1.47 volts, something like this. So even that is already very, very good. But it's always the best situation when the first core is the better one. So if we disable the core multiprocessing in the BIOS, it will disable the second core and we will then have the first core running. So it's always the best way if the first core is better than the other one. And one very important thing is that the VID of the CPU is in the correct range, so 1.25 correct range uh, in terms of VID for Wolfdales is between 1.175 and 1.25. For example, I have good, I have two good E8600 CPUs. The first one is the very weird batch one from SF3D and uh, it only does 4.5 PiFast and 32M with 1.31 volts, so not anything golden or so on and it does 6.7 1M, 6.7 W'32 on LN2 and it has a VID of 1.25 volts. My best E8600 is very good on water like 4.5 Pi fast with uh, like 1.21 volts and 5 gigahertz to 5.2 on water so very good one all around and it does 6.7 1M, 6.65 something uh, Pi fast 6.6 SuperPi 32M and uh, it has a VID of 1.175 although that's very on the edge if the VID was any lower it wouldn't scale well on cold I've, I have quite a few very good like very golden water E8600s but they have VIDs of like 1.12 or something like that and they don't scale at all so this VID should be very good so uh, we'll definitely be trying this on LN2 so stay tuned for that result so this was just a very short video to uh, leave a note for myself for the future. So if I ever return to these CPUs, like on to the uh, E8500s, I know what to look for. So 5.1, 1.48 volts, try to find similar one and you should be good to go if you want to uh, uh, aim for some good scores on LN2. So uh, stay tuned for the LN2 results and uh, give a thumbs up if you like to see this very short video and uh, Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one.